from something else kind of tense in dance music world we've got this story here which is heartbreaking courtesy of ra it's a detroit artist super cold wicked accuses omar ace of assault over unpaid royalties and this kind of broke my heart i'm not gonna lie because I've, I've been a big fan of omar ace ever since i started djing in like the early 2000s he was sort of like my number one go-to person when it comes to like productions and shit i can't think of another person so maybe motor city drum club motor city drum ensemble who then changed his name to mcde um or david Pussilo, whatever his name is, um, Storm, um, what you call it, um, Storm Queen. Is it Storm Queen? What's what's it called? What's his name again? Is it Storm Queen? What's his flipping name again? Stream Queen. Oh, oh my God! I can't believe I forgot his name. Um, but anyway, production-wise, there's a few people who I've kind of well, my go-to in terms of records I would always play when I would be playing out, and on my S would be one of them. Too many names to you know of his tracks to mention, but this instance is definitely kind of sullied his image in my head because Jesus Christ, Detroit artist super called Wicked, this lady here accused on my S, this guy there of assault over the weekend. Super called Wicked, real name Morgan Hudson, posted on X and Instagram about the legends that took place in Detroit venue Parameter Sound, and I've got the actual post here right on November the fourth so super cold wiki posted this on her um, instagram platform right and it says the following um omar s is a violent abuser um last night i confronted omar s um uh at parameter sound about an, an over 10k in royalties and sales that had been owed to me for over a year for the what's good for the goose record and many more he responded with fuck you bitch and proceeded to physically assault me including smashing a glass onto my head it took three men to pull this grown man off of me while he pulled my hair this was done in public with no concern of who saw and many did i'm in shock still processing and taking um the necessary legal steps i would like to thank dre the owner of parameter sound and others for protecting me during this assault i am proud that i advocated for myself as a woman in this industry while being disturbed um that i am the subject of another story of a man in power abusing the woman for demanding what is rightfully hers oh my s is a threat to the community which is really 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 fucking tragic especially when you think of all the other kind of you know douchebags from that area of the world who have unfortunately um done similar things you know i think of people like derek may and obviously um the past with eric Murillo and whatnot who obviously isn't from there but you know what i mean who've kind of have a very bad reputation in the industry and i think the unfortunate thing about this is that this is something that i've kind of heard from a while back um what being a thing of like you know from people within the industry saying yeah oh my ass behind the scenes is a bit of a piece of shit but i guess people put up with this sort of stuff in general in all sort of industries when you're incredibly talented right when you're really good at what you do you kind of get away with murder and i feel like the 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 unfortunate part of that sort of thing it's understandable why people do let people who are talented get away with stuff but the unfortunate thing is that if you do, if they're not checked it can lead to these situations it can lead to a situation where someone ends up getting actually hurt and obviously he's gone through his life i feel like completely being unchecked because he's on my ass and then he had to get to this point where he physically gets hard woman in the packed nightclub and now suddenly the kind of conversation around him is, t is changing but as you can see here from the pictures um she's posting a picture of herself selfie with some plus on her face you can see some scratches and some ridges of blood it looks like a dent and a ding in her forehead her shirt has been ripped to the hole in the side there's some blood here on the top of her shirt there's not a lot of wounds i don't think i can see here but it just looks like a lot of scuffs and bumps from obviously being grabbed and swung around places so you know you don't need to see a bullet hole in her body to believe that she definitely got into some sort of level of physical altercation which is obviously isn't on if you're if you're going up to somebody who you've worked with and saying hey you owe me 10k for unpaid royalties and shit and other work i've done you don't expect to leave that conversation with you know blood on the side of your face top of your head holes in your top and whatever it may be so even though it doesn't look like she's been stabbed it still isn't a good sign because she's a girl and that guy is a grown man so it's never ever ever going to be appropriate level of action to show somebody especially if they're requesting you to give you their money and shit a few hours later parameter sound issued a statement on instagram with a caption we stand with morgan the venue called the allegation sorry the alleged um altercation between the two reprehensible disgusting and other acceptable moving forward they'll cut ties over my s and his record label and have banned smith from the venue so that's a good thing right because i feel like i said before one of the things that's disappointed me the most about some of these abuser stories um as much as i 
will you know the blame needs to be laid solely at the feet of the abuser i feel like we need to be grown-ups enough to realize that unfortunately the world we live in is always going to be bad and good and evil and i feel like evil people and monsters will always exist but the responsibility we have as kind of you know good people quote unquote is to try our best to call it out and to point it out when it's happening and not kind of turn a blind eye that's our responsibility because they're always going to live amongst us but i feel like in the industries like you know dance music for instance people like to turn a blind eye to abuse a lot because it serves their bottom line in that their mortgage gets paid because of this abuser their kids are being able to go to private school because of this abuser they can pay their fucking car note they can make sure their wife kind of you know doesn't have to work or whatever it may be they can go on fancy trips all because of the abuser and they can kind of turn a blind eye to it, especially when you're considering the dance music scene is a very even though it's a very you know it makes a lot of money it's still a bit of a niche scene so even if you're somebody that's abusing people in that sort of industry you can quote unquote get away with it more than maybe your conventional kind of like you know edm maybe other genre or maybe just generic normie type of stuff you can kind of get away with a lot more and the issue is um you can do that to a level and then after a while people end up getting actually hurt whether it's like you know getting assaulted getting raped unfortunately people dying that's the that's the real harsh realities of it and i think we saw a lot of it during that whole harvey weinstein thing right one of the really sad things about it was obviously harvey was a monster and deserved everything he got but the really sad thing about it was in a documentary there was you know basically people saying that hey it was an open secret in the industry everybody knew this guy was a bad guy to the point where i think there was one bit that really broke my heart where it was like one woman was propositioned by eric sorry by eric um by um what you call it harvey weinstein to go to his hotel room to give him a quote-unquote massage and she turned down his advances and then when he asked her hey have you got a friend she recommended one of her friends so she turns down the advances of abuse but then puts her friend in line to get abused it's like come on bro and i think that happens a lot in dance music scene right like where maybe hey somebody maybe you know maybe you feel uncomfortable with a dj or you feel uncomfortable with a label manager or you feel uncomfortable with agency and instead of calling that bullshit behavior out um you don't keep it yourself but then you let somebody else take that job without warning them and then they get abuse and then you know you kind of just are able to kind of advance with your career without turning back um to kind of check if they're okay that's really abhorrent so it really is a responsibility of whatever this dance music community is because it doesn't really exist right the dance music community isn't a thing but if it is a thing what it should be trying to crack down clamp down on is this sort of stuff it shouldn't be you know they're arguing with people in the comments about fucking blends and you know fucking um you know beat matching and shit it should be it should be calling out abusers and identifying them and kicking them out of scene because we don't need this especially you know i guess in my kind of naive world we're trying to create our own little escape from the real world right when we're in dance music spaces and the last thing you want is to repeat the same issues that you have in the quote unquote real world and dance music you want to try to eradicate as much as possible now we're never going to get to a point of being a safe space because like i said i think fundamentally you know nightlife just the way it is the you know the premise of it being out at night after 9 p.m as our parents always say nothing ever good happens so i think it's impossible to have any semblance of a night of a safe space but if we can design something that is close enough to it we should take the chance and opportunity to do so and if it means us calling out certain type of behaviors to get that shit out we should do so um it continues um uh, following the alleged incident several current and former um of his record label artists including fully um full body Dur durag john fm and jmt have released public statements condemning Omice's behaviors. High Tech, who is associated with both artists, has also publicly sided with um, Super Cold Wicked. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a bit here where I think John FM actually mentioned that Omar S actually deleted him. I think he removed all his records from his record stop or something like that. So he said that he's fine in there. I'm not going to be, I guess, it's good riddance i forgot where he posted it maybe it was on his twitter i might have seen it john fm and again he's a really good artist as well so um he said here in the statement i become aware of the incident um and that ensued last night and i'm vehemently against it and all violence against women it's full stop i want to be clear that i do not stand with abusers i make music to empower people in all backgrounds that being said i can no longer create new work with omar's label as said incident has shed light on his behaviors i can only hope that our community can find healing and peace along this journey and that they enact um the work necessary to um, prevent incidents like this from happening in the future so that's what he said there and let me see if i can actually find his um let me see if i can actually find his uh twitter actually where he mentioned that um oh my it's actually took him off let's see if i can find it here bear with me a second yeah there we go as well so i think he actually posted this recently on his um x account he actually said here about Omar S taking all these records I think off of 
the record label site or something. Let me see if I can get up on this loading. Bear with me a second here. Yeah, it says, um, it's come to my attention that Omar S has removed all music featuring me on his label from his streaming platforms. Honestly, wouldn't have it any other way. Love you all. Be safe and stick up for yourself. So clearly, um, Omar S isn't liking that people are backing this girl and kind of backing up her account of what happened. And he's duly taking action in terms of punishing them for not having his back, which is absolutely insane to say the least. But let's actually see what he actually said about the whole incident. Um, he actually replied as well and posted his post which is incredibly pathetic to be completely honest um let's see what he posts here on his instagram um he says oh my yes, this is his account right he posted a picture of himself with some lumps and bumps on his head and then him fully clothed going into the mri mri machine right which is hilarious because if you've been into one you'd know they usually don't let you go in like that especially with your legs crossed with trainers on with his pockets full it just looks weird anyway whatever this whole charade is really really dumb but um there's a picture here of lumps of a lump on his head which should be quite embarrassing to be fair right you tried to physically assault a girl and then you left with worse injuries than her really that should be you shouldn't be bragging about that really to be honest but hey what can we do his caption says as an artist who knows the unfairness in the industry i've always tried to be fair and honest if someone believes that i owe them something i have always been open about talking about it if that <laughs> that's definitely scammer language in it if i owe them something i'm interested in having the conversation there's no conversation bro if you owe me 10k I'm also going to do that to your head. You know, I might do worse than that to your head. And I'm not even a violent person, but you know what I mean? If you owe me 10K for the work that I've done, especially somebody, especially in, in music or in this type of work where everything's done by invoice, it's always late anyway. When it's artist to artist, it must just burn a little bit more, in it? Because you should know, you know the pain of what it is like to put through an invoice and have to wait fucking a million years for the agency to pay you or the club to pay you. Just do me right, do me a solid and give me the money. I don't want to have a conversation. We're not going out for a coffee. We're not linking for a drink. When I'm not inviting, don't come. I don't want to come to your hotel room. Just give me the money, or you'll get left with fucking Cardi B knots in your head. Um, it continues. If that doesn't work, I'll refer them to my lawyer, Todd Russell Perkins. What a bitch, man. Honestly, what a bitch. You work with somebody D and like a collaborator, like a fellow artist appear, and then you know it goes left, and then you refer them to your lawyer. Yeah, okay, cool. I truly believe that as a fellow artist, I have always tried to do the right thing by those who I have pleasure to work with. Yeah, you 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 wish you did. As for last night again all this is cope right so, so no nothing just this pure cope in the beginning as for last night a vicious attack by another woman artist i have very little words <laughs> yeah, he's crying like a karen he's complaining that a girl beat him up so he, it, by the sounds of it it looks like he tried to put hands on her um it worked to a certain extent but then she also left a, a mark on him right she definitely made sure she left you know she made she basically made sure that he knew he was in a fight right she he didn't leave completely unscathed which again says a lot about that lady um i have very little words as a husband and a father of a young woman oh i hate this narrative right that men who have daughters or something have a really deep understanding of <laughs> of the female the woman's psyche they would never hurt a lady ever because they have sisters and mothers and daughters it's like bruh if like some of the worst people in history had come from very stable families with a mum and a dad with maybe a bunch of sisters with daughters right gbk that golden bridge killer was didn't he have all girls and he was out here slaughtering women and shit and the Decapitating them and mutilating them and shit. Come on, man. Let's be real. I am offended and hurt by the lies and salacious attacks on my character. To be scrutinized and called names is one thing, and to suffer the physical abuse by a super cool wicked is another. Look how he put her name, like the end bit, wicked in caps. Oh, my ace is such a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> He's such a fucking bitch. Um, but and i mean that in the most offensive way possible he's a hundred percent bitch but for her to say that i attacked her uh, is pure utter fabrication how can it be utter fabrication when the club the club where their attack happened says it happened parameter sound said it happened there's video footage i'm assuming probably cctv from the from the place that will show that it happened so I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's got another account of it. I'm not too sure, but so far the club's is back is back in Super Cool Wicked. Super Cool Wicked has kind of offered a succinct, you know, blow for blow for what actually happened. And for the most part, Omesa's reply has been mostly cope. But anyway, it continues. I'm calling on the video surveillance. Wow, he wants the video surveillance to be put out and the witnesses who saw this to tell the story i will do my part and let my medical records along with my evidence speak. medical records he's gonna be posting fucking blood work and other bits and bobs in the hospital to show that he was the one that actually got that doesn't prove anything that doesn't prove you're in a tussle that girl's alleging that she went up to you and 
and requested that you give her her 10k that she's rightfully owed you then responded in some way by being rude or throwing back an insult you guys get into a scuffle and you end up far worse position because you want to share medical records you had to go to the hospital like you know what i mean that like, this girl put you in the hospital bro like that's pretty embarrassing um you know you should be hitting women in the first place but if you're going to touch one and then she ends up beating your ass that's really embarrassing he says um, what's this person say this person in the comment says i would have your lawyer send an emergency notice to the venue to present more evidence she's saying you attacked her first and that has been the angle of ra took because if you are being honest you have the right to sue the shit out of her i really didn't have to give her a sign of exposure even though it was clearly available to them um they took a small excerpt of your post while the post of all of hers if it happened the way it happened and he says it happened the way it happened he's got a case he could easily sue ra the girl everything and probably win but i think he doesn't have a case they're both he's trying to he's trying to like um you know call her bluff essentially but you know there's there's probably gonna be witnesses there cctv there so it's gonna be an easy one to prove either, either way but again considering the stuff i've heard about omaris in a scene and stuff from like you know second third fourth sixth hand accounts and shit this lines up do you know what i mean he people say he's a bit of a piece of shit um in general and hard to work with and just a little bit annoying um and shit um and whatever it may be so maybe this kind of lines up to it remind me of far and calf sending strength so sorry about this one person says <coughs> i hate when people post things in social media but only state half the story um they don't say the part that they had an incident that you always been stand-up person to try to twist the story in revelation but isn't he twisting the story too i don't understand this it's very strange isn't it in the dance music industry we have these people who go out their way to defend artists on these sort of occasions and again you don't know either party we don't know either party right we don't know either party i don't know the person um we don't know lms we don't know super cool wicked but considering the evidence that's available so far and considering again it was in a nightclub the nightclub themselves have backed up the girl side of things i think it's without reason to say that most likely Omar S did what was what was happening. Maybe this lady is living out the portion that she beat the guy's ass. Cool, that's fair. But I think the initial conversation of like, "Hey, where's my 10k?" and then they getting into a scuff where I can believe. Um, maybe again, you know, I can believe a scenario where where's my 10k? He says something that she doesn't like. She spits at him and then he hits her, and then they get to a scuffle. But then she ends up leaving it with lumps and bumps. I can believe that, but still the initial interaction started from where's my 10k you don't need to say anything rude back you need to hit the person you need to do anything you just need to you know be able to give them a time when they can receive their money and the fact that he didn't is really kind of a, a red flag in my opinion but yeah all these fanboys coming up and sticking up to people is odd to be honest especially considering the evidence that's available uh, this person says they don't say well, you've always been a stand-up person again judging how somebody acts with you as another man based on how they act with, with the you know in defense of how they've been accused of acting with other women is insane to be completely honest um no one should be physically assaulted whether male or female if you can't come correct don't expect support from anyone we got you yuck what the fuck stay strong alex um i never believe it if they post social media but don't call law enforcement that's stupid as well come on man like in this situation what's going to happen I uh, you know unless you just want to press charges because she i guess in this case you just want your money you want to be you know away from the guy and kind of don't want to speak to him ever again the whole law enforcement thing is another false herring as well in this regard another one says wishing you a speedy recovery from a woman it looks like there god damn in total shock about this wishing you a speedy recovery another one says love heart stay strong what the fuck you work together very sad to med uh, meditation turn to violence stay strong alex i'm very sorry to see this wow bro so much support wow it's really disappointing the facts will appear in goodwill. I'm speedy recovery for you. Another one says, hey man, it's absolutely uncalled for behavior. I'm deeply sorry for you. I have been suggested this. This crap has gone out of control. This trend of female, this trend, there's a trend of female aggression. I've not seen that. Where have you seen a trend of female aggression? Maybe there's a trend, maybe there's a trend of like false allegations. And even that's not a trend really, to be honest, but aggression. You've seen women going around like trying to beat up dudes. When have you seen that? Um, okay uh on some manipulation on social media no one should be putting hands on anyone including a woman but you still should be showing restraint maybe i'm the only person that kind of i feel like there's very small amount of situations and circumstances that would justify a man putting their hands on a woman but i feel like in this interaction especially when you're the person that owes the person money it's it's your obligation or it's in your you know it's the incentive is on you to rectify the situation 
you maybe have to defuse it whatever you have to do you have to you have to do it because you're the one that owes them the money you're the one that's causing the issues so if it, if the person does come to you with fucking you know coming on to you with level 10 it's your responsibility to lower it whether they're being violent whatever you need to defuse that situation until maybe it gets to a certain point maybe you have to kind of defend yourself but from what it sounds like it sounds like he snapped pretty quickly there was no really calming down um thank you brother for taking the high road the high road you know <laughs> that's a look at the high road to me my friend um she would have made it a lot worse for you and given you equal rights and left cool so let's see some of her comments actually i want to see what some of her replies are saying uh who's omar because he ain't welcome nowhere he should never feel comfortable outside no more um not hide not holding men like this accountable is a public um health crisis we all know them too often and we let shit like this slide and don't call it for what it is you are doing the lord's work this ain't it another one says i'm so sorry megan take advantage of uh, exploited and then abused by an artist under your wing is disgusting i hate this i love you too many detroit music men benefit from our silence thank you for the reminder that is over there you deserve so much more i wonder why in detroit specifically people are very afraid of calling out these abusers and these pieces of shit i wonder what it is about that detroit scene that see people seem reluctant to really call shit out because it seems like it's a it's a prevalent issue it goes on everywhere everyone kind of suffers from it everyone suffers the effects of it everyone knows a story but they don't really like to say it aloud or something i wonder what what it is why are they scared about these geriatric men are gonna do to them right like what are these guys gonna do to you really and truly like for real like like come on man like these guys are all losers for the most part um so sorry you have to happen to you that's lakuti big up lakuti um enough is enough sending lots of love not even surprised the sheer bro code that enables men like him many of us to go skate free is why shit like this keeps on happening thank you for speaking up constant world of silencing deleting all the music now will be amplifying especially since you're from detroit ash lauren says shaken to the core I'm so sorry it happened to you completely unacceptable he needs to be held accountable and that person says yeah you'll never do another event here we're gonna make sure of it I'm glad you're okay let me know if you need anything so sorry this happened to you uh, this is horrific and absolutely appalling stand with you uh, another person says sure really shocking I'm sorry it happened to you we should always stand violence against women physical and financial sending fi f financial violence what the fuck is that what owing someone money is financial violence okay fair enough to be fair if you owe me if you owe me money it's always violent so i get that right if like again in the industry with especially with the prevalence of invoices like there is something really evil and sinister about another fellow artist withholding payment from you in it 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 just it just hurts a lot more because you know the struggle you know how hard it is out here and here you are fucking popping bottles you know fucking tongue wrestling white chicks on the dance floor right finger banging asian ladies in the toilet and grinding on the sisters on the dance floor while i don't have my money all right um this is a line that should never be crossed um, never ever lay hands on others just wishing you the best so i guess either side of the argument have different points of view about what's happened again judging from what i've seen so far and the stuff that i've heard um oh my s did that shit <laughs> according to me again allegedly i'm not too sure i'm just a random guy from london talking out my ass but if you had to ask me a law of probability whether or not he did that i think he did that shit as 50 cent would say so solidarity goes out there to super cool wicked keep your head up keep your head up 